Take my horse through the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black. Got the bushes black to match. Riding on a horse. Ha, you can whip your Porsche. I've been in the valley. You ain't been up off that porch. Now, nah, can't nobody tell me nothing. Spend a lot of money on my brand new guitar. Baby's got a habit, diamond rings and Fendi sports bras. Riding down Rodeo in my Maserati sports car. Got no stress, I've been through all that. I'm like a Marlboro man, so I keep going back. Wish I could roll on back to that old town road. I wanna ride till I can't go. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. Till I can't no more I'm gonna take my horse To the old town road I'm gonna ride Till I can't no more All right, we're live. All right, what's up, what's up, what's up, Destiny Squad? What's up? Oh, well, hey. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. All right, y'all, we are excited, y'all. We are excited. We are actually all under one roof now. We are the squad, but y'all, DJ Roro could not be here tonight. But guess what he did do? He sent me his information. He um, actually goes to attend High Point Academy. And they have basketball tryouts tomorrow. So, y'all, DJ Roro trying to do a little b-ball. <laughs> so, um, he had to stay after school today. So, even though he's a radio DJ, y'all, he do have a live outside of radio. Okay? <laughs> so, we're going to shout out to DJ Roro. We hope you out there on that court doing your thing. Yes, because he did his thing the other day. He's also playing uh, lacrosse. lacrosse. Yeah. And he did his thing on lacrosse, y'all, for real, for real. So, proud of the little dude. So, <laughs> shout out to DJ, <laughs> DJ Roro. So, we're going to kick a shout out to you and hopefully everything going good. But that's the squad, ladies. How y'all doing? You're doing good. good. All right. High school going today? Good. Good? good? All right. Good grades? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. All right. That's what I want to <laughs> hear. All right. Y'all know not to say anything different. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into the show today, y'all. We have an amazing guest coming on today. And um, y'all going to really enjoy this show. We got, a, like, a top-of-the-line question for him. So I hope he's ready for the squad because y'all kids be coming off the top of y'all dome with some, like, crazy questions, you know. And I'm like, yeah. honestly, everybody, 
I do not coach them in their questions. Now, today, I threw out the top the question of the day, so I don't know uh-huh. what they're going to ask. They never tell me what they're going to ask. It's like they don't want me to know because they know I'm always critiquing everything, so probably that's why they don't tell me. <laughs> but anyway, I trust them now, though. They haven't let me down. They haven't said anything weird, and I'm like, why did they say that? You know, I'll be like, we'll be right back. We're going to a radio commercial. Oh, I mean, to a music commercial, but I never had to do that. They're very professional kids, so I'm proud of them. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the weather for today, guys. It's currently 88 degrees. The weather is fair. And um, they're saying that there's a 15% chance of rain today um, at 6 p, uh, through 6 p.m. So um, make sure you have your umbrellas in your car because they're saying it's a 15% chance of rain. And I'm looking outside, and it actually – Look yeah. like well, it looks per- perfectly fine. No, not over here. It don't. It looks like it's a little cloudy. So we shall see. All right. Now low tonight is going to be seventy four degrees. So we're really excited about that. We got we got some good stuff coming on the show today. Kids been working. They got all their little work together. The stuff they're going to spit to y'all. We're going to share it with the community. So don't get it twisted. We got some stuff for y'all today. Uh, do y'all got stuff? Yes. Amen. We got content. <laughs> because we are the content keepers, okay? All right. So we're really excited about everything that we got going on. So let me just go ahead and turn the show over. Let me get my big mouth off. And we're going <laughs> to turn it over to our next Person, who's up next? Because I don't have my. I beard. am. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. She said, I, I am. Because like today is our first day that we really got everything <laughs> going on. What's going on? Your mic, is it on? <laughs> can y'all hear DJ MJ out here? Can y'all hear me? I'm talking. Hi. Hello, hello, we can hear DJ. We can, we can, can y'all hear? hear? We up? All right. Our, our sound team outside, they not playing with. They don't They don't <laughs> let the Destiny Squad slip, okay? Yeah. Because we are the only yeah. kid radio station in the world. So we can't be slipping, y'all. We got to keep this thing crunk around here. Right. Shout out to Aretha Raxter. I see you. Howdy. I see you. I Howdy. see you. <laughs> All right. So we got on. people that are popping in. So when y'all pop in, don't just pop in. Say hello to us. We're mm-hmm. going to shout out to you. But we're going to go ahead and turn it over to DJ Trivia with yep, that yep. fashion and that food. And then don't y'all forget about that green, green tea. tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is up, guys? It is DJ Trivia. And today for our food topic, we're talking about Taco Cabana. Taco Cabana is a Mexican food restaurant with fajitas, tacos, Beans, rice, all that good stuff. Okay. <laughs> and their bro, their rice is so good. I be wanting to get some all the time, but that like Spanish happen. rice type thing. What? Well, uh, what is it called? I know it's. Uh, oh, I know it's. It's rice. refried. What the rice? Oh yeah, it is Spanish rice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, I don't know what it's called. I, I don't know it's good and it's rice. It's there. <laughs> as long as it tastes good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So now for the drinks, because I know you know everybody gotta know about the drinks. They could just have food and they're thirsty at the same time. All right, so for the adults, um, I don't know if my grandma will let me say this, but it's not a bad word. Uh-oh. But it's <laughs> mar- <laughs> <laughs> it is. You I already know what you're about to say. <laughs> what word I heard is that M and I know what you're about to say. What, you what, what, I'm looking what, like? what you always get? What? Mm. Margarita. She's about to oh, oh, she spilled the tea too early. <laughs> I thought you really no, was going to say something like, no. I'm like a, I don't know if I can say. Y'all see how disciplined my grandkids are? She's like, I don't know if I can say this word a lot. If it's bad, it's like uh, <laughs> margarita. But then she's going to front me about what you always get. <laughs> Did you hear the show? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead with your show. Keep me out your show. Hello? So, yes, that is for the adults. And they also have what man drink. Uh-huh. There. <laughs> all right. Moving right along. Look, moving right along. Now to the kids' drinks. See, I can say all this. They got Sprite. They got fountain drink. They got Pyrex. <laughs> 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 and they got water if you're healthy like that. But I'm not healthy. Can't so relate. <laughs> oh, wow. Can't relate. I just get Sprite, like, all the time. So, I mean, if you guys want to go to Taco Cabana and get some good food, go to your nearest one. Because, yep. I mean, I ain't got a location, but. Go to your one, get some good food. All right, Taco All right. Cabana, we need you to uh, send us some gift cards for that free advertisement. Yes, please, because free. Y'all food is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now time for our fashion. Since it is fall season and it is cold, which Burr. I don't like. It's starting to get chilly. <laughs> yep. So, um, guess what? Guess what you guys gonna buy? Sweaters. Yeah, oh. okay, that's my see, boy. I'm on, I'm on that's it. That's my boy. That's Ready? my boy right there. <laughs> no sweaters, child. 
<laughs> and coats. <laughs> sweaters. Okay, what about these sweaters? Now, I I went I went to like Google and they have some really nice like women's sweaters. I didn't see any men. I'm sorry. MK. So I just guess sweaters and then I can't even <laughs> get. Okay, you I can't even it. get a fashion. I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> okay, can we get? Uh, can we be like? Uh, but they're even nice. here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I guess for the men, y'all got them long coats. You know the coats that are, don't even got fur in it. And then the women, they have the coats with all the fur and like the velvet, the velvet filling and outside. We're sensitive. Oh. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to say it. She's so interruptive. <laughs> I see how it is today. But so the, the the velvet look is in for yeah, the sweaters the for the ladies. I mean, and the, the fur. I love fur. Yeah, the fur is nice. The fur around the collars. Oh yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go copy some of those. <laughs> oh, she said caught me. Good job. Staying, She's staying, staying in the trend. Good job, Miss GJ, Lady Cool J. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Maybe if you guys want friend. some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cool. Okay, go ahead. Move on. Move along. <laughs> okay. So if you guys want to stay in the trend, could you guys some velvet fur coats from any clothing store? Because I'm pretty sure they're all sitting there. And if not, they're not on the trend right now. But anyways, we're done with that. Now time for our green tea. Uh-oh. Uh oh, the green tea. Can y'all hear yourselves in your mic? Yes, I can. I, can I think hear your myself? mic's kind of. Down a little bit. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Uh, what you are now? so smart. That's why you're over there. <laughs> yeah. I, try to, I do what I do. You know? I know you're <laughs> great at it, TJ MJ. <laughs> All right, so for our green tea, today's green tea is really like really like uh, really hot today. Uh -oh. oh, it's hot mm. green it's, tea. It's so it ain't cold tea with no ice in it. <laughs> no, who on cold tea on the radio show? <laughs> uh, you're right. Anyway. All right, so today, the reason I say that, because this is about Tyler Perry. Oh, oh yeah. hold up. In Can we do this right quick? <laughs> yes! She said the magic name, Tyler P. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to go ahead and give it up for Tyler P. Now, what you got to say about Tyler P? Tyler Perry has opened his own studio called Tyler Perry Studios. Wow. Now, this studio is larger than Paramount. I guess that's how you say it. Yep. Warner Bros. and Walt Disney's Burbank combined. Mm. Mm. You see Make that? sure you add so that combined. You got one, yeah. two, three. Y'all crock up in here, ain't you? And they all, <laughs> and, and they all big. But we got Tyler Perry. That's Look. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they all up in there. You see that? Uh, so what did you do with this hand motion? Y'all right. see? For those so of you that are listening, she had to like put up three fingers and just yeah. like smash them. So basically, <laughs> we got we got Paramount right here. All right. So this is Paramount. Warner Bros. right here. Then we got Walt Disney Burbank. Now we have Tyler Perry Studios, like, like big and stuff. And all we do is smash them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's that's what we got to do because they ain't got no studio no more. Tyler Perry didn't kick it out. They said, all right, I got the biggest studio. Come on. Cancel. Cancel. You're, you're done for. <laughs> wow. Y'all are ruthless. <laughs> so Tyler Perry is the first African-American to open their own studio. We need another clap for that. I mean, that's kind of uh, important there. Uh, there it is. There it is. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Yes, give it up for Tyler Perry. That is a long applause. Okay. That is. It's very <laughs> long. We got to shorten it down some. <laughs> so, I mean, anybody got agent or something, y'all better be watching out for Atlanta. Cause oh. We're talking about MJ with that agent. Yeah, <laughs> we know you're going to be Atlanta. MJ going to be in Atlanta, baby. He gonna I'm be praying. He's going to be like, man. Disney Squad ain't doing no, I'm kidding. If you're listening <laughs> right now, you don't hit me up. I got you. <laughs> I, I got you. you. <laughs> I got you, Mr. Perry. <laughs> all right. So. Hit, hit. <laughs> so that is all. The green tea was the best part because I wanted to talk about that. All right. So all right. There you go. And I'm done with my segment, so I need to stop talking. So. <laughs> and we're moving on to who <laughs> you introduced the next person. We are moving on to GJ Sox with her community. Community news. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and she also do the birthday shout out, uh, so don't y'all forget about birthday. the. It's your birthday. 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 So y'all don't forget to send us your birthdays because we want a shout out. That's me, mine. All right. Go ahead, <laughs> TJ Socks. Uh, hey, guys. It's your girl, DJ Socks, here <laughs> with your community news. Bosses of Tomorrow, Youth Empowerment. Empreneurship Dinner Party, Saturday, October the 26th from 2 to to the 4 p.m. at the Art and Design Influence Center, 211 North Avery, Avery, Dallas, Texas. The theme will be Halloween, what I want to be when I grow up. There will be a, mix, a mixer between special guest speaker, youth, lunch will be provided, so dress up as future career dreams. Stop right there. I want to pause on that because that's a good, good. Mm -hmm. Now, 
what she's announcing, guys, this is pretty cool. I, I went, your mom sent this to me, so I went and checked it out. Um. It's like really cool that they're going to be having a youth, it's a youth empowerment. Yeah, empowerment. Yeah. But it's like Halloween thing, but you're not dressing up like a monster or anything. You're dressing up like who what you, you want to be, be in, uh, in life. So if you want to be a doctor, you come dressed up like a doctor. If you want to be an attorney, you dress up like an attorney. You want to be a chef. And, man, finish that information because I had to just – I had to get – man, when I saw this, y'all know I get excited about the kids and empowerments because we're getting ready to do – we moved hours to February. So I'm like, mm-hmm. this was some good stuff. So tell them – how they can get this <laughs> information. Y'all, I'm excited about empowerment. So Empower the people. My ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For more info, contact Chris, Christine, Crystal Robertson. I'm sorry that I messed up your name. <laughs> Founder and, and the coordinator, coordinator. coordinator. Uh-huh. Okay. director of Ma- Madam C's Touch, MCT. Contact the number 969-245-8890. Repeat that number again. 469. Okay. Yeah, but contact that to get y'all bosses up tomorrow, October 20th. And it's called Bosses <laughs> Up Tomorrow, right? Yes. Yes. All right, cool. All right, yeah. got it. I'm over, here to go to. I'm over here reading your stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> she all over your face. Oh, Janae, I think that's something I have to say. Okay. <laughs> Flash Mob at Texas Live with Ty is looking for more girls ages 7 and up to dance. If interested, please, 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 please come out to PBR 1650 East Randall Mill Ra- Road. Arlington, Texas from 530 through 8 every Tuesday. But before we move on, DJ Trivia and I, of course, is part of uh, the crew now. Uh, uh, now. <laughs> well, let's give y'all a little applause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, congratulations. They're flash mobbers. Yes. And they're going to be dancing at Texas Live. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> so I have a question for you, DJ Trivia. Yes. How did you enjoy the class last night? It was nice, even though it was my first time, and I was, I was acting like I didn't know nobody but you. Uh, but it was <laughs> nice. Oh, trust me, it was my first time too, and since that was like the first class that we had um, For practice, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was excited. But I it really was, liked it, was, it. It was a nice experience. Yes, it was. Okay, back to the community news. <laughs> <laughs> Corn maze. Spend quality time together with your family, friends, or group. Sharing experience. The maze is the unit empowerment. Sorry. Experience beca- because you are lost and must work through the challenge together. This will allow you to share the victory together. Lone Star Family Farm and Corn Maze located 4199 U.S. 67 Steph- 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 Texas. United States is open in the fall, September the 28th through November the 9th, 2019. Every Friday, Saturday, Sundays. Fridays is 4 o'clock p.m. through 9.30. Saturday is 10.30 a.m. through 9.30. Sunday is 1.30 through 7.30. Okay. I'm not done just yet. Just yet. I'm not done. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Girl Production presents Stop Playing With God, the stage play, starring Christy Fl- Fawcett, Marshall, Mommy, Michelle Robertson's Galen Fuller, I know him. <laughs> How do you know him? Go ahead and tell it. Okay, <laughs> he's my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and I sent that to her today to announce, and she didn't even know, and I, they, they caught, contacted me back saying, oh, well, that's Janiya's uncle in this play. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, she got family in there. That's cool. Scotty Robertson's Theo Bray, um, Courtney, Courtney, Cortina, yeah. Cortina Jackson. Sorry, if I got your name wrong, if I said Courtney, it probably. Is it Courtney? Yeah, it's Courtney. She uh-huh. was, no, she said that right. She was talking about the uh-huh. second one. Yeah. <clears throat> Sunday, November 3rd, showtime, 5 p.m. at UTA Rosebud Theater, 300 West 1st Street, Arlington, Texas. Tickets available now. Go to goproduction.org or call 469-810-1271 for more info. And what's the name of the stage play again? <laughs> Um, stop playing with God. Ooh. Okay. Capital G. 
Oh, the cap. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. That's what's up. We're moving on to birthdays. All right, it's your birthday. 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 Okay. Shout out. Okay. Shout out goes to my favorite actors on Let It Shine and Spider Man Far From Home. Tyler James Williams, happy 27th birthday. And Jacob Ballin, happy 23rd birthday. And I just want to say, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. <laughs> and no make sure y'all know. <laughs> okay, but if you want a, if you have an event or have a birthday that you want to share with us, contact us, um, on Gmail by Destiny Squad and Instagram and Facebook. So thank you. Thank you. Awesome new. You go, girl. <laughs> yes. All right. So we're gonna move right along because we got a guest out there waiting. <laughs> so we're up now to none other than DJ MJ Dude. with that low tame it. New. What is going on, everybody? You're listening to Destiny Squad Radio, and I'm D. J. 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 And today, as always, I will be bringing you your low tainment news. But before we get into that, I just want to say I hope everyone is having a great day. You're eating healthy, which I can't relate to that. And you're being productive and all of the above. I just want you guys to, you know, get out there. Do you. And if you're having not so great of a day, just know that this too shall pass. This too. You heard him quote a word on you. This too shall pass. pass. In the no, same hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing goes for eight-year-old Marion Scott, who also didn't have such a great day when she was denied a school photo because of her hairstyle. Oh. The sc- yep. The school stated. You see my look. <laughs> she said, you uh, of a hairstyle. <laughs> come on with this news. The school stated that it violated the school's dress code, and then they <laughs> proceeded to send her right back to class. The eight-year-old says she had felt singled out. Now, y'all already know I gotta get I gotta put my two cents in it. Put your five <laughs> cents in it. My five. Like I me personally, I just don't see what the big deal is. Now, granted, her hair was dyed red, but the thing is it wasn't even like a bright red. It was like dark red. And so th- it, it's just a picture. Like it's gonna <laughs> go in a book. Like what what's the big deal? But um but I know because, like, there's plenty of people at my school, and they have their hair dyed. And I know there's this one girl. She has her hair dyed, like, bright pink. I mean, it's, like, bright. Like, it looked like some pink lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> and she walk into class, but guess what? Them teachers don't say not a word to her. She get, she do her. And then, like, everybody moves on with their day. And, like, if that's how you want to express yourself, then, like, do you? Like, I don't care. Like, as long as, as, long as you don't cross that line to where you start dressing, like, you start looking like you're barely wearing anything. <laughs> y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, but um, <laughs> as long as you don't do that, like you good. Like do you? Right, right. That's crazy. Yeah. I would have been a very angry parent. Just they just doing way too much. Too much. Way, way too much. All right, now maybe it's just because I'm hungry because I ain't ate nothing. <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and throw this one in there. Now, fun fact about me: I am in love with pizza. I mean, I can literally eat a whole pizza by oh. myself. Oh, oh, that's I don't know that's who y'all thought this was, but I don't play <laughs> when it comes to my pizza. And uh, no, I'm not talking about eating a whole pizza over a course of a couple of days. I'm talking about in one sitting. Uh, what? Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can tell by looking at me, but I, I throw down. I, I, d- <laughs> I, I throw play. down. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, today as always, well, no, but anyways, today I am bringing you DJ MJ's list of the top three best pizzas. Uh-oh. Ooh. Yep. Coming up in first place, we have, drumroll please, <laughs> Domino's. Yeah! Uh, ooh. Well, you gotta get yeah. that. You gotta get that pan pizza with the <laughs> breadsticks. Bread I mean, sticks. that that's my stuff. That's my stuff. Yep. Well, not breadsticks, but like those. Uh, the cinnamon ones. Mm, well, that too. That's but the one it has like the cheese in it. Oh, the uh, the, 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 the the mozzarella sticks. Th- those something like that. <laughs> but it tastes so good. I'm like, hey, but it costs so much. But it tastes good. He said it cost. Now my so my much. favorite used to be Papa John's, but ever since that whole them saying the N word thing, me and oh. my family we we've been on strike. So <laughs> oh, it's strike out. <laughs> All right, but next up we have Pizza Hut, and I'm kind of iffy on this one. I mean, it depends on the day and the kind of <laughs> mood they're in. Like for one day it can be delicious and it's just on point, and then the next day it's drowning in grease. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> pick a side. Like I don't know, but if you met, I no, I love it when they mess up our order though. Because my dad, he don't play when it comes to getting his food. I can only right. imagine your dad. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. <laughs> if you don't make it right the first time, we going to keep it. You going to make us another one. And you going to throw in a dessert on top of that. And that's just Bam. that. <laughs> Get it right the first time. We getting some free food. You know what I'm saying? 
But lastly, for those of you who are trying to save and you're trying to get something cheap, we have Little Caesars in their $5 hot and ready. Even though most of the times it's barely even hot or ready oh. when you get there. Um, no shade. <laughs> but it still tastes pretty good, and so y'all can get a pass. But me, I feel like they need to step the game up just a oh. little bit because I don't know what it is about the one that I go to. And it's not like I could just go to another one because it's like – only one in the area and if you want to go to another one you gotta like drive like way out there like i don't feel like doing that but um i don't know what it is but they're always just so unorganized like when i walked in oh. to take my order no one else was there and oh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh. <laughs> technical difficulty <laughs> but <laughs> anyway when i walked in there to take my order no one was there and they were all in the back do doing what they do and so someone finally comes up and he asked me like are you here to place an order and i'm like yeah and so he's well, like, one moment, please. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I step back and I'm waiting. He goes back in the bag. And then all of a sudden, some other dude walks in and passes me up. And then he starts placing his order. The guy comes back and he's like, oh, yeah, what you want? And he just starts taking his order. I'm just sitting there like, what? Like, what, what, what just happened? I was, <laughs> I've been standing here. But anyway, let me stop coming for these pizza plates. Yeah. All right, but <laughs> now for our entertainment news. And we kind of already covered it. Uh, Mr. Jeanette, uh, DJ Trivia. No, it's all good. That's the only one I had. But okay. I'm going to just cover some things that probably weren't said. Okay. One thing that y'all probably didn't know is it's about the size. Well, no. It, w it was a former Confederate Army base. Oh. Yeah. It is 330. It's a 330-acre uh, movie studio. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a big studio. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tyler Perry states, think about the poetic justice in that. The Confederate Army is fighting to keep Negroes, uh, Negro, <laughs> Negroes enslaved in America, fighting, strategizing, planning on this very ground. And now mm. this very ground is owned by me. Wow. Barry. I said you better go. Okay. You better go, Tyler. <laughs> I mean, I, I am so, like, when, man – I can't even express me being in the industry mm -hmm. and, you know, shooting films, doing movies. And, man, y'all just don't know the joy that I'm like, man. And I am I will be traveling to Atlanta, mm -hmm. hopefully taking the squad with me, you guys. Praying. And we will um, go check this out. We oh. got to. I'm actually going to contact Tyler Perry. So if anybody out there know Tyler, go ahead and share this YouTube video. Because Destiny Squad, Shout Tyler Perry, you're going to come on our show. Yo. You're coming. Tell them, y'all. You're coming on our show. Whether you know it or not, you're going to be here. <laughs> you to will. We're going to interview Tyler Perry. All yes, right. So, y'all, screenshot this. How, how do you, don't laugh at me. What do you do when you record it? And screen, uh, phone record? It's screen screenshot. Screen 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 recording. Screen recording. Okay, screen okay recording. everybody do a post so they can screenshot. Scre uh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, we're going to, we're, we're, we're shouting. So, y'all make sure if y'all know Tyler, or go hashtag Tyler Perry. Let him know that Destiny Squad, we gotta bring him on our show. Mm -hmm. And I don't. We know we smile French fries right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. But pretty soon y'all gonna be begging to be on our show. Wait, Just Tyler, Wait. you know how it failed. How they try to ignore you, but you created your own Hollywood. <laughs> and he was saying how Hollywood's trying to ignore him. I bet they paying attention now. Mm -hmm. Wait. Hello. Wait. Wait. Yes, ma'am. You said small French fries. We ain't no French fries. We ain't small. Well, what are we, girl? Come Ooh. on, tell me. Well, we bigger tell than it. that. We already we went to Church Stars Awards. Everybody Ooh. knew us. No, no, come on. We had events and everything. We had police come to our events. Like, come on. Small French fries. Wait. She right. All right. Well, right. y'all heard. I ain't mad at her. She corrected you know, me. She said they bigger than that. I wasn't no here. I wasn't here last <laughs> week to speak on it, but I just wanted to shout out um, two of the people who were at Church Stars. I don't know your names. I wish I did, because I would say it. Trust me, I would. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I just want to shout you guys out. It really, it makes me feel, it makes me feel warm when people would say, like, they recognize me. And I was like, huh? huh? Me? <laughs> what? All the way in Phoenix, Arizona. Exactly. So I just want to shout you guys out. Just know you have a, you hold a very special place in my heart. And they're looking, and actually, I think it was Miss Santiago. I think she's actually online. Ooh. Shout out to Miss Santiago. Oh, well, shout hey. out. She's online, Miss Santiago. That's her name. <laughs> well, shout out Miss Santiago. Santiago. Yeah, so she's online. So you you made them feel so special, and they've just been really talking about how she uh, we walked when they walked. I, they walked in before me, and she was like, she came up to me after the show, after I received that fantastic director award. of the year yeah. award. Let me just throw that out there. Another Already. week, another week, another week. But um, <laughs> and she said, I knew I knew who they were, and I was like, who? She was like. 
Th- them that uh, DJ Socks and DJ MJ they're with Destiny Squad yeah. and I'm like shut Tear that drop. front door Tear so yeah yeah so that she she made us feel special the whole church stars made us feel mm-hmm. feel special so I can't even wait until next year yeah my we go heart back. was worn your heart was <laughs> worn. I have butterflies in my stomach because I would just want to hug everybody <laughs> <laughs> I was just yeah. proud to see y'all up on the space presenting like <laughs> Emmy Awards presenting I'm like look yep. at my squad <laughs> yeah but anyway y'all we gotta move on because it is now six thirty and so. Uh, Guest. Oh, she said, yes, I am. And how are you guys doing? We're, We're doing amazing. Good. How good. It's amazing. Uh, uh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Hey. So we're excited. So, y'all, we're going to take a quick music break. DJ MJ is going to find us a nice song. And then after the song, y'all, we're going to come back with our guest. Y'all, mm-hmm. none other than CEO, y'all, the man, yeah. the painter, the Oh, my God. Derek William with Ken Man, Folks. I tell you, if you have not seen his work, I love his work. If you've ever seen, y'all are young, but I'm, y'all might watch. Do y'all ever watch Good Times Rewind? Yes. You do? I don't. Good Times. Oh, she knows. Okay. Oh. Good Times. Um, the, the painting with Good Times, that type of character character painting, character he does. Change. Yes, that's the word. Um, He does all this amazing painting. He even do paint on your pants, on your mm. clothes, on your whatever. I mean, well, and then he throw these okay. amazing paint portraits. So this is going, we're going to have to get with them, him and the other, uh, Miss yeah. Mays that came on. we got to do a huge paint party. Y'all Ooh, better show up for our sure. fundraiser. Y'all better show up. But anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm a show up bully. But anyway, he's amazing, and we're just really excited about him coming on. So we're going to play a short song. Um sure. and then <laughs> now we gonna cut it off. I, if not, so we, we will cut it off. Cut but we're gonna bring um we're gonna bring him in. So y'all, we'll be right back after yeah. this song. Bye for now.
We are back. All right. Bye. Yes, we are back with the squad, child. And we are so excited for those of y'all that are checking out our live stream on YouTube. We want to shout out to y'all real quick because y'all see who we got sitting in the chair. So I'm going to shout out to the people. I see Annie Lands, oh, one of our faithful, faithful members. Hi. Hey, Miss Annie, Miss Annie. Oh, and I shout it out to Miss Santiago. We got like uh, some people on here, but they not saying anything. So y'all need to say something if y'all want us to shout out to you. Don't be trying to sneak up in our room and don't say nothing to us. So <laughs> say hi. Just you know, put say a dot hi. out there or, or something so we can shout out to y'all. <laughs> so, but y'all, without further ado, y'all, we got mm -hmm. the man himself, Mr. Kenfolk, studio Derek Williams, man, the baddest artist in the DF Dub. Y'all give it up for Derek Williams. The bottom one. There we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, and Derek, make sure you're talking to the side of the mic because they'll be hitting me up. We can't hear him. Okay. I, is, again, that, is that good? Yeah, pull All it up right. some for him, Janaya. He's tall. There okay. we go. Yeah, he's tall. There we go, right there. Then you just, all right, so Mr. Williams, yes, welcome to the show. How are you? Oh, great, great. Thank y'all for having me. We're excited to have you, and I know you're really excited to be here because I know you love the kids. You like me. Yeah, you know. Push that in a little bit closer to that mic. It, I mean, you almost got to kiss it. Is that better? Oh, yeah, oh, that's good. That <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. And, yeah, and, and we're just excited to have you, and we I've been just really following you. Tell them you are live on the air, whoever that is calling. Right. But <laughs> I'm going to put them on silent Put right them on silent right now. Now. But we have been following you. I, I mean, and all the work that you're doing, you are throwing some live parties. Tell us about who you are. I know who you are right. and what you're doing and why you're doing it. Well, I'm doing it because it's, a, it's been a lifelong dream for me, you know, uh, mm -hmm. to own my own business. And the art has been a passion for me since my teenage years, you know. Um, I was inspired to do art just from watching good times back in the day, watching the PBS on on 13 and just challenging myself, you know, to see, you know, well, how can I be a part of that? You know, Nickelodeon back in the day when I was a teenager. So, you know, seeing the type of dip, uh, cartoons kind of inspired me to kind of like, you know, what do characters and then I went from characters to characters to start doing art. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And your art is amazing. For y'all that have not, go to his Facebook, mm -hmm. it's Ken Folk, Ken Folk Studio. And uh, our, it's on our Facebook. We're tagging him. So if you just can't find it, go to Destiny Squad page. Click on the link on his picture out there. Go like it. Go subscribe. Yep. <laughs> and check him out. Because you don't just draw, but you throw paint parties. And for people that people out there don't know what that is, tell us what a paint party is. Paint party is a, uh, it consists of people getting together, strangers. You know, uh, we, have, we do have private parties. Uh, but for the most part, we have open paint. Open paint basically means that, you know, you come out to the studio. Uh, I kind of let everybody let, let, let the feel the seats, and I kind of get a feel of everyone. Mm -hmm. What I do is I sketch out images uh, on top of my head. I may ask a person what they want to paint. They tell me, as long as it's within the specs, I sketch it out for them. I do get some people to be wanting a little more than what I normally do, but depends mm -hmm. on the circumstances, I might do it. But uh, basically, you come to the studio, and I actually sketch the images out. Everybody paints something different. You basically come in to paint your masterpiece, and once you're – uh, once I'm done sketching, I set you down, give you your uh, your paintbrushes, your cups, and your aprons and everything, and give you some instructions, and we start painting. In the process, we it's more it's a, it's a little bit different. We don't just sit there and talk the whole time. We dance, we play music. I've Ooh, been and, watching. And I'm like, man, they yeah. crunk without me. And it's kind of challenging. So yeah, I'm just, it's, 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 a, it's a different type of flavor. Wow. Now let me ask you this: You said that you sketch right then, or you pre-sketch? I sketch right then and there. Oh. What? On the spot. On the, On the spot. spot. Wow. I, all this time I've seen you doing that, but I was like, so how fast, how, I mean, how quick do you, how fast can you sketch those? Because, I mean, if you got a I, I 20 been, people. My, my assistant told me one time, um, and this is, again, you know, I don't get into brag. I just do what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I can sketch 30 pictures out in about 10 minutes. Wow. Ooh. 30? Yes. About ten minutes. You said what? Oh. You said about ten minutes. Yeah, I can sketch. I can sketch the images. The images <laughs> I do in about thirty that's, minutes. Yeah, like, that's a true gift. That is. <laughs> that is a true <laughs> gift. Oh wow, thirty pictures in it ten. Takes you like thirty seconds to draw each picture. Thirty oh. seconds. Yeah. Wow. 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 So tell us where is your studio located? The studio is located in Alton at eight two four. Ag Town. Yeah, eight two four Secretary Drive. In Allerton, Texas. Okay. And, and, and y'all can find all that on this page 
um, and, and and tell them how do they book uh, and how what is the criteria for booking a party? For booking a party, don't come in there talking about two people. No, you 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 book a party. Uh, uh, to have a party, it's a minimum of eight. Okay. A max of forty. Okay. But usually when we don't have a full house, which I try to focus more on the quality, so I really don't want forty people there unless it's just a private party. But for the most part, comfortably twenty twenty five people. Uh, if I have ten people that signed up for a four o'clock party, and say eight people call and say, "Hey, we want to come paint," we'll add them to that eight that four o'clock party. Okay. We try at least have a minimum, uh, a max of twenty five, minimum of ten to eight people. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. And let me ask you this, because we are a nonprofit. What kind of fundraisers? Because we are looking mm-hmm. to. The, we had talked to Anita. Is amazed. Yeah. She t- came on our show and mm-hmm. talked about you, bad boy. <laughs> man, she talked about you. Yeah, I'm just gonna man, tell you in, in your face, <laughs> and it was not bad, bad, y'all. Yeah. Messing people out there. Yeah. It was good, bad. Yeah. I mean, she praised you. Man, I'm gonna do the same for her. You know, she's like my little sister, man. My, right, whenever I'm overbooked and need somebody to, uh, somebody needs a paint party, I call her. Vice versa. Uh, so basically what it is uh, for the nonprofit, I am about giving back. And I'm not being modest when I say this. It's like if you're telling me, hey, we, we're trying to do something for the kids or trying to do something for the community, usually my price is 35 per person. Mm-hmm. So you go figure, go go figure the, 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 the fundraiser part of it. You know, what's, what's going what's gonna to be beneficial for you? Is it going to be $10 or $15 a person? Well, if you pay $35 a person, I'm just being honest with you, and you can make $15 each person, I don't mind giving it $15. That's a, that's a good fundraiser. Yeah. yeah. Little Caesar only give me five dollars. <laughs> well, we try to, yeah, we try to get back. So I'm just being honest with you. Uh, if if you wanted to do a fundraiser with us, give us a call, and uh, we'll set it up. You know, okay. Just especially nonprofit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We we definitely gonna do something. We gotta get something big. I want something big. I'm gonna need forty people though. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We got it. All right, yeah, all we, right. We, we can hold that room for you. We good. All right. So what have been your challenge? Uh, let me, hush, Jeanette. Go ahead. MJ, <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I take over all the questions. <laughs> all right. Well, my question is the first one, and it's very important. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. <laughs> now the question is, do you remember me? <laughs> the way he looked Wait. back. Vaguely. Okay. Wait. Do you remember the name Michael J? Yeah. You do? Okay. Are, good. Are you, uh, son? Yes, sir. Okay. Wow, man. That's a good you question. Up, I should ask that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you I just had to make sure. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you just got to put that out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but my next question, my real one. So, what is art to you? Art to me is life, life. it's passion, mm. it's a peace of mind, it's therapy, it's um, everything, man, besides stress. It's a stress yeah. relief. Mm-hmm. Uh, art to me is about being creative, not so much as being perfect, because you can take a straight a pen and do a straight line mm-hmm. and, and create something with that. So uh, art to me is, is passion. Uh, it's about being imperfect. And it's nothing perfect about being about being an artist. Mm-hmm. It's, it's having a vision and go out there and put it on the paper or a canvas and, and roll with it. Wow. Mm-hmm. And I never could draw. I mean, <laughs> good. But I'm going to try this paint party. I'm going to make a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to make sure we do that for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to do this. Next question. So where did you learn to paint? I taught myself how to paint. Uh, and I was uh, probably at the age, let me see, in the early 90s. I used to sketch all the time and doing cartoons. Mm. Um, as a matter of fact, probably a few years before I met you, Jeanette, but before I started the, the Stop 6 Wildcat, but it was not started, but when I was with the Stop 6 my painting was terrible. <laughs> I used to, I, I mean, I, I started, like, going to, what inspired me, I challenged myself, I remember I was teaching. Uh, I was a, a teacher's assistant at Carroll Peak Elementary, mm-hmm. and we took the kids to the zoo. And this one particular picture caught my eye. It was an image of a warrior, a tribe, uh, warriors at the door. And that, that painting is still there, mm-hmm. and he was holding the shield. And I said, "Mama, go home and try this." So I'm gonna try to do that image. Mm-hmm. So that's why I started doing the imaging. Mm-hmm. So I went home and checked that was in my mind. So, but before that, I was doing trying to do abstract, and my my family was like, "Man, what are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> it was what bad. Yeah, it was it was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> At least they honest with you. Yeah, my mom was very honest with me. <laughs> but uh, I just kept pra- practicing and started challenging myself. I started uh, taking images and trying to recreate create the images and and start learning what the different mediums to use, from watercolors to paint uh, to uh, acrylics to pastels. I even tried oil, but oils are so hard to use. 
Yeah. The oil painting? Yeah, it takes forever oh, for it to dry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to DJ Trivia and DJ Socks. Okay. DJ Socks is up next. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay, DJ Socks. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, what discovered your passion? like? Mm, when you say what discovered my passion, like who discovered it? What did, uh, how did I discover it? Yeah. How you discovered your passion. Yeah. Uh, passion of drawing, the cartoons, being in, in school, not paying attention. Doodling, I used to doodle a lot in high school. Now, I mean, I wasn't the, the, the I ain't gonna say he was a very dumb kid. I just was a kid. My teacher span was very short. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so. ADD? ADD. Mm -hmm. And so what, what helped me a lot of times, to, I drew in class. Mm -hmm. And I missed out on a lot of things. I missed a lot of questions, I missed a lot of things. But as I got older, I was able to develop and be able to balance the two, but I had some 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 challenges uh, in the you know early childhood, you know, because I my, all I would do was draw. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention to what, but as I got older, I was able to balance the two and me start like I say challenging myself to draw cartoons. Cause I started out drawing cartoons when I was young. What mm. like what like what kind of cartoons? Uh, you name it. Uh, mm -hmm. I used to do Doomsbury. I used to draw Charlie Brown. I used to Charlie do um, <laughs> Tom and Jerry. No, I wasn't. Uh -huh. I didn't do that. But I used to just. just, 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 just actually, they trying to be actually, funny. Yes, I'll get <laughs> Going way actually, back. Just basically, uh, every, anything that was into a cartoon. Fat Albert. Um, Ooh, Ooh. I did all of them. I love Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, my first question is what are you, what is your strips, strips and painting? Uh, sketching. The image out first, mm -hmm. and basically uh, the brush, uh, you know, picking the colors out and then learning how to stroke the brush, learning how to, wh what brushes to use. Uh, that's how you find your strength. That's how you become a better artist. You know, you don't want to paint something, an uh, uh, image, where your brush is too big. You know, you want to have the right right materials to do the, uh, the paint, you know, the art, the art with. Mm -hmm. Okay. My my next question is, how how do you wait? What do you know about your uh, what do you know about the paint the painting industry? Be honest with you, um, nothing too much. I mean, as far <laughs> as like, are you asking me like, what do I know like uh, like, as far as like, am I in the circuit? Are you asking me like, do I am I is my name out there? I I know a few artists, like some self talk and my my artist that I studied a lot was. Ernie Barnes, these, these artists are deceased, you know, uh, but you kids would know about the good time artists, but we, we thought Shoot. Jay, well, we, we thought JJ <laughs> was painting the picture, but actually it was Ernie Barnes. Yeah. And there's an artist that I really, really fell in love with. His style is very unique. His name was William H. Johnson. Mm. He was uh, an artist in the early 1900s, you know. Mm. But re what really inspired me, if you notice all my pictures, I do no faces, was Annie Lee. She's out of Chicago. So them three artists, that I studied their style. And another artist that I love is Leroy Campbell. His style, the long arms, the long necks, the long faces, in the different, uh, diff di different angles. So I studied them four artists, and that's where I developed my style. Mm, okay. Good, some good history. We got one more question, and this is going to be our closeout question, okay. uh, Janae. Okay. What advice would you give to someone on how to s stay positive in a negative world? Be able to take constructive criticism and turn it into a positive. Mm -hmm. uh, do understand that everybody's not gonna like your work, and it took me a long time mm, to realize come on, that. preach, brother. Um, I used to get discouraged. I remember one time, I'm not gonna hold you too long, I remember I was doing cartoons, and there was a, and there was a guy in Dallas, he had a l local paper, and he had me to draw some cartoons, right? And I thought the cartoons was, was good, and the people who uh, um, recruited me thought the cartoons were good, but this guy here particularly said this to me, what makes you think you can draw? Mm. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. So when he wow. said that to me, I got very discouraged. And wow. I stopped drawing for about, I stopped drawing for a while. And then I picked it back up. And I took what he said to me as a, as a positive, and I started challenging myself even more. So, again, everybody's not going to like what you do, but don't stop what you're doing. Wow. That's good right there. That's, a good, one. That's good right there because um, even in the industry of film and me writing, and you're not going to please everybody out no, in this you're industry. And you're so to. right. I mean, you know, I, I've gotten negative feedback, and I hey, and, 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 t t tell me what you think, cause you know, 
I'm gonna do whatever, but I, I'm looking at Tyler Perry right today. You know, mm. the kid's been talking about he's inspiring. him. Inspiring. He's inspiring. You know, yeah. somebody went from sleeping in their car, and then they made it to Hollywood, and Hollywood basically telling you you don't fit. Hmm. You know, and I love what he did. You know, and I'm like, that's my theme. You know, my my motto rather. I love is uh, I saw this out there a meme, and it says, "You throw me in a pack of wolves, mm. I'll come out leading the pack." Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah, you know, right. so people think because, you know, if you normally if you throw somebody in a pack of wood, they're going to eat you up. Right. Right. But now you throw Jeanette Greenwood in a pack of wood. I'm going to come right back out, but I'm going to be the leader of that pack. Exactly. So that's what you got to do. Yeah. And that's what I teach them. You know, don't you go. I give them constructive feedback. I probably go a little hard on them. But um, don't y'all say nothing on <laughs> here. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I do it because I want to see them be better. Mm. You know, but sometimes people give you negative feedback to bash you and try to make you feel bad yeah. about what you're doing. Just like you said, even if he felt like those th that, that your cartoons weren't good, mm -hmm. why did he have to say, who told you you could draw? Right. Or what make you think? Right. That's bashing. That's bashing. And it, and, and, it, and it bothered me. You know, it bothered me for a while. And I thought I was good at what I was doing, but actually, you know, it took me to take that constructive criticism from him and turn to the positive. So, Hey, again, I, I, I haven't stopped since. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So what words of encouragement? We're going to close out with you giving these kids some words of encouragement, and we're going to close out words on what you – encouragement from y'all is to basically if you have a plan, find out what your passion is. Mm -hmm. Find out what you like to do. Walk in your purpose. It's not going to be easy, but it don't have to be hard. Uh, everybody's not going to like what you do or how you do it. But you find your passion, your purpose, and you roll with it. Mm -hmm. And just believe that, you know, uh, whatever it is that he has for you is for you. All right? Amen, Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And what words of encouragement y'all want to give to him in 10 seconds? I just want to see keep doing what you're doing because, y'all, I could vouch for him. He did uh, oh, I'm going to He did a party for my cousin, and they did really good because my sister had a really nice drawing to, come to bring back. Okay, you guys. Go ahead. 10 seconds. Come on. Go ahead. You. Go ahead. We, we Janae, we don't have time. Go ahead. Just don't let anybody get you down. Uh, and don't let anybody bring, 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 bring you down because, trust me, I've seen your work, and it's pretty, pretty good. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate <laughs> it. All right. Well, we thank y'all so much. And everybody thank out you. there on the stream, we appreciate y'all. We are tuning out, and we will be back next week. And next week, we're yep, bringing yep, in yep. Jade Massentoff coming back Yay! to talk about her release, the video that I wrote. And we're having a big release party in November. So we see y'all next week. We'll see y'all next Bye. week. Bye. 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 Bye.